Who's the most broken class right now? Okay, let, let, let's roll it out. Oh, he wants to say it. You know what I'm gonna say, right? <laughs> I, Jay, what, what do you think, Jay? I'm gonna Come pretend on. surprise. I'm gonna act surprise. Uh, I mean, I'm not sure yet with the current balance, but I would think uh, shamans are a big contender, but I'm not sure yet. I think, yeah, I think um, we have to see, uh, that is true, like what happens after the logs come out for week one, week two, and a little bit more as we go within the month to get a better, I think a month full of logs would give us a better uh, assessment. But I will say just naturally, uh, when it comes to at least PvP, shamans are outrageous. I love them and I hate them. I love them and that's, that, that's only because uh, my boy Sky plays one, but... Um, but in, in, in my, my, the crew over there, by the, the comeback kids, yeah, they, they play the shaman, so more power to them. Uh, but I hate them. I, t I was telling, uh, I was telling Sandy earlier, I was saying, like, um, I feel like it's a Goku Vegeta complex with paladins. We're, we're just two steps behind them in every way. So it is what it is. Um, but at the end of the day, uh, yeah, I think they're, I think they're the best class in the game at the moment, still, until we see further notice for sure. Like, I, I feel bad for the Alliance, like, I don't think this is good for me. It's so bad, the Shaman is so busted that I am mad at it and I play Horde, because they, they take on my spots. Like, I was playing a Warrior and I felt fine, I was playing to the best of my ability phase too. And, like, the whole time I, I got, had people nagging me, like, why don't you play a Shaman? Why don't you play a Shaman? Why don't you play a Shaman? Like, I can only imagine as a Paladin you get that, like, every freaking day of your life. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, people people will be like, yeah, you should have just re-rolled Shaman. It's like, nah, I get it. Um, but, like, at the end of the day, like, I, I know how to play my class. I, I, I play my class to the best of my ability. And at the end of the day, you have to represent, you know, uh, someone's got to represent for the, the the lower tier. You know what I mean? What's uh, not the saying Paladin gang sign? <laughs> yeah, you know, someone's got to represent for them for the Holy Light. And I'm, I'm proud to take that coverage. You know, it, it, my, my thing is this, like, uh, I grew up on on like fighting games my whole life. I was a big fighting game guy. I was big into Smash, Tekken, Mortal Kombat, King of Fighters. Um, the list goes on. Marvel vs. Capcom, whatever, right? And I was always a fan of picking the characters that weren't the best. You know, even though Paladins were favored for a long time, but like the Rep Paladin class itself, obviously, the underdog like, man. It's a yeah, thing. The, a joke. You know, the Rep Paladin. But now, like, I really enjoy Rep Paladin. I know they were extremely strong in Phase One. People complained, especially in BGs. But now, as we see the the nightmare and terror of the shamans, um, things have changed. So you uh, may overall, have free rage if you I'm are really, broken. Uh, you know, like they're gonna say, "Yeah, yeah. but shamans," and you're gonna yeah, say, "Like, like if, you, if, if you think an exorcism and a divine storm is broken, wait till you get hit by a totem and you get chain lightning out your soul." So good luck with that one, uh -huh. <laughs> or you get hit by a lava burst. You know, so uh, good luck with anything when it comes to shaman. However, at the end of the day, yeah. That, that, yeah, it's outrageous. That's all I'm gonna say. It really is. Yeah. Well, like I think, like if I were to say who's the most broken uh, class, and like I am very grateful, Blizzard. Before I say this, because I am playing Pro Warrior, they buff the heck out of Warrior. I never felt this good as a Pro Warrior. I got decent AoE threat now. Vigilance is the stupidest rune I've ever had. Is uh, I feel like a shaman. Okay, that, that's the way I said. I did. Uh, you know how they buff Shield Slam the ability, not a rune, before when the face came out. Like, without any runes, I did an Omergan at launch, uh, I, I think you did that too, right? To get the free level, when you... when I was like, the whole raid, I was like, uh, doing the trap with shield block, and I was like, I feel like a shaman, guys, I feel like I'm doing the same my shaman could do. And like, yeah. now that I got the runes, I just feel amazing, like, I got good AOE threat, and like, uh, I got instant taunts, uh, I feel like, a, like I, I got good faith that the pro warrior is gonna be a, a pretty good... Thank you. It's not gonna be the best because Shaman. Because Shaman. But yeah. I think it's gonna be really good. Yeah. Now, if I gotta say who's the most broken, is Mage. Absolutely. No question about it. It's Mage. They, they are absolutely fucking bonkers. It's, it's like deep freeze in PvP. Have you ever faced a Mage in PvP like that? Like, oh, yeah. Oh my god. Right. You, you get the stun and you're dead. I think mages are what is what came to my mind after a shaman because um I have a I have a good friend of mine who's also in my guild as well. He's a really good mage and um he even mentioned too and, and he he was saying that I don't think people are gonna realize how crazy mages are gonna get until they until they keep getting there. And um, you know, when it comes to sixty, if you think mages are a problem last phase when you saw them rising on the charts and now you're seeing them what they're doing now mages are doing absolutely disgusting things and i think and i made this uh, uh not an argument but like just a just a point 
uh, in one of my VODs, and I said, uh, if you want to consider what's the best PvP class in the game, regardless of shamans, it's mages. Uh, a, a deep, a deep freeze mage, especially with all these runes now, uh, that knows what they're doing and knows how to play the game, is nine times out of get a ten beat every other single class. Now they have, they have problems with shadow priests, of course, you know, with silences and stuff like that, and of course shamans still have that one shot potential with any class in the fucking game. Um, but mages are ahead of the curve by a by a landslide, and especially in PVE, they just do so much glass cannon damage. It's, they it's scale ridiculous. so much. They scale a lot, and they get a lot of spell crit. Like a lot. Five percent more crit. they got this face with the molten armor it, it, thing in PvP. Like they go tankier, yeah. they do damage to you when you hit them, so good luck fighting back. It's like uh we, we don't want people actually hitting the mage, we don't want them fighting back. Like we want them to accept their fate when they see a mage in a, in a BG. Yeah, pe people don't realize what how crazy I mean I, maybe people do, I'm not gonna say they don't, but chronostatic preservation is bonkers. It's Absolutely. fucking lay on hands over and over again. So just imagine that. And it doesn't so, even take all your mana. Nope, not at all. <laughs> it's, it's, insane. it's lay on hands every other couple couple seconds. And people are bitching about a paladin lay on hands. Uh, we get it back in an hour or 40 minutes if we're pro into deep holy. That's about it. And then eventually with the, the Lawbringer or whatever set that I think we get uh, later on in um, uh, next phase uh, for the tier sets where it reduces our lay on hands by like I think 12 minutes or more. But may just get it every five seconds so it's insane it's like an old style wreck bomb you know you just stack it up uh, before you go to a fight and like if you stack it up right you are guaranteed to win every time i feel like the mage now is what the hunter used to be in in phase phase one remember the the wind serpent hunter in bg's man like you you saw oh yeah oh you saw a wind serpent coming at you and you just let your hand off the keyboard because you knew you couldn't kill it no matter what you did it was disgusting. I, I think that's the the, yeah. the feeling I get when I see a mage now. Like, I am a warrior, so I'm kind of screwed anyway. But like, I got the feeling that <laughs> reasonably I can never. Uh, I shouldn't even try. I shouldn't even bother. Like, there is nothing I could possibly ever do to kill him. No, yeah. I I just um when it comes to mages, they're disgusting. I know that I know that hunter uh pet uh pain way too well because like that's all I did was BGs in phase one and spammed war song to get to exalted. So, um, yeah, when you see, like, four warriors, or, sorry, when you see four hunters setting their wind serpents, or even bef before that with the scorpion stinger, you know, the scorpion, the, oh, my God. Oh, I was getting, they went. I was getting, I was, yeah, they were they went bonkers. I, I was getting soloed by everybody. It, it was horrible. So, I think, honestly, yeah, um, yeah, I agree with you. I think, I think, I would say shamans and mages right now, for sure, top two. You uh, can be, you classes. can I don't think physically, you else. can physically see them give up when, when they see a mage. Like, have you ever paid attention in, like, a board of, like, a mage PvPer? Because I, I saw some mage streamers. And, like, the second the first deep freeze goes through, uh, like, the guy breaks out of the stone uh, and stuff, like, he sustains yeah. them. They don't even move anymore. They, they give up. <laughs> no, yeah, I, I've seen a lot of I've seen a lot of clips of good mages. Even, like, uh, what's his name? He's a popular mage, uh, Zaryu. Zaryu knows what oh, he's yeah. doing when he comes. Yeah, he, he's, he, when he, when he ever PvP somebody, you know, the ice blocks, the chronocyte preservation, the blink, the frost nova, the cone of cold, you know, the rank one frost bolt, change into the different ranks. And now, especially with the increase of spell crit that he, they get now, on top of the new runes that they get now, like Bale Fire Bolt and all this other crazy stuff that they have, or the, the frost fire bolt, like, it's, it's the, the sky, the potential for mages to do the most insane amount of damage is about to go through the roof. And my only hope is, is that classes like, warlocks uh affliction warlocks kind of get that love because i really like affliction locks a lot that that was like one of my classes in wrath especially on the horde so i would love to see like affliction warlocks really shining through but if, then again if they shine through um a lot of other classes are going to want to keep shining and that goes back to all the balance and stuff that we talked about right so in general i i when it comes to sod i think i i do hear the warriors like cries of wanting to be good but i i do think warriors once you guys hit 60 you're gonna see this the doors open up and especially with whatever new runes let's say let's say they stop with like the whole tank stuff and they're like all right we'll give a little bit more tank runes just very minor but we're gonna give a lot of more dps based stuff or utility based stuff which i actually hope for give them utility and now it's the best way to balance because the they are never gonna get give the numbers them, yeah. right it's, it's not possible i always say give it was fine utility. like people are yeah. i think the problem is I'm, like the 
Uh, I call it the, the Matrix slop dilemma. You see the Matrix, like when they, everybody's at the ship and they are like eating like some random like gruel that is just white stuff with no taste yeah. on it. And everybody's fine except the new guy because he just came out of the Matrix and he just was eating normal food the whole time. I think, yeah, that, yeah, I think yeah. that's how warriors feel, right? Like everybody's doing okay. And the warrior was always S tier, no matter what. They were absolutely the best, no question about it. And now they take him down yeah. to middle of the road. And they cannot take it. They cannot take it. I play a warrior, guys. Okay? I, I said the whole tier. Warrior is fine. And, like, people were so upset at me for saying that. And right now, like, the runes, guys. Uh, vigilance. I feel it's so... There is no way I'm not going to hold aggro this tier. It's not flashy. It's not funny. It's not sexy. But uh, Pro Warrior is, is still the way to go. I don't know much about DPS. Jake, did you get to try the DPS Warrior yet? I mean, I haven't liked them the raid yet, but um, if uh, if Warrior is not the best at uh, DPS, then they are the only class that's not the best at something. They're the only class that's not essential in some way. Besides Rogue, Rogue's even more than Warrior. Oh, the Rogue is... <laughs> yeah. At least like, a Warrior can, like, off-tank or do every something. Every class has been essential. In Classic, every class is essential to the raid. Right now, Warrior and Rogue is not essential to the raid. Yeah, I mean, besides... So, like, it's not the, the same. It's like, whatever. It, it, it does kind of suck. I mean, um... I mean, we'll see what happens in the next couple of weeks. Hopefully, these logs open up some eye-opening images of where these classes are about to be heading. We can also take a look at the rankings. I got them right here. Let's take a look. Uh, we mm -hmm. got Hunter at the top, the Melee Hunter. I don't think that's much of a shocker to anybody right there. Uh, and then next is Rogue, actually. That, that's a little odd. Oh, of course, guys, like, there is a, a huge sample bias here because we only got the first couple bosses first. So, yeah. we're like... We got like what two logs of people killing Hakar and not Hakar, Shadow of Hakar, whatever, and Iranicos in the world. So of course mm -hmm. that's gonna be below there. We got we got the rogue really doing really well. I think the rogue is gonna be remain viable. Then we got the shaman, which I think is still enhanced. The yeah, enhancement shaman is still busted. Like no, not a surprise there, like we were talking about. Uh, one thing that is weird about the shaman, and I think that's gonna be a nerf to warriors, believe it or not, guys. Is that the, they are not getting the uh, sorry uh, rock biter got nerfed to hell? I don't know if you heard about that. But like yeah, the, they did. the attack power gain got reduced and they got like extra threat because of that, like a compensation for so they don't ruin tanks. Mm -hmm. And they are going double wind fury now. So not only they are doing good damage, they are not doing stupid threat now, which is gonna make them a lot more desirable. And at the same time, it's gonna screw me as the warrior tank because I I, I my plan the whole phase was. Throwing vigilance on that guy and getting 10% of that guy's threat, and he was gonna carry me through the raid. And now I'm gonna have to find a new spec, man. A, a, a new guy to like <laughs> steal the threat from, bro. Well, you know, I hope the. I mean, at the end of the day, I hope uh, Blizzard has in mind to adjust the threat modifications and the core values and parameters of how threat is adjusted per spec with tanks. So it makes it almost where every tank feels they can get a fair amount of threat so therefore like for example if you were to bring a warrior tank in your raid you would feel comfortable with that warrior tank because you know that their modifications made to their threat tables is absolutely fine and they can maintain threat and especially uh, you know stacked with the right plate and gear that there would be no issues with that and, and the same thing goes for you know a shaman tank same thing goes for druid tanks uh paladin tanks rogue tanks you know um and, and metamorphosis warlocks right and the uh, warlock tanks as well i think um it's more of a of a design issue itself than it is like okay um you know one class is just better than another you know besides just all the talents right back behind it so blizzard has to fix the balancing they have to fix the design choices and then obviously on the coding end of uh, making the threat modifications better for each and every class and um i because honestly I, I love warrior tanks uh you know warrior tanks are great you know i think back even if we're talking back in the day best single target tank threat in the game pro absolutely tanks. pro tanks pro warriors you know and now obviously you know they're getting you know replaced and i hope they find their 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 time in the sunlight and you know we'll see what happens in the next couple of weeks with more class balances because you know we're going to get a blue post with class balances and more stuff as we go with phase three and you look at the fourth place right there like for all you guys that complain fourth place who's there who we see there the warrior what's up with that so yeah, they, they the are doing there. fine. And the Warlock is yeah. close in the fifth place. And then we got Mage. Uh, I was kind of expecting the Mage to do better. But now that we've seen the none of the above raid thing, I think like 
they are, they mentioned they're gonna start up using it. No, yeah, I I think I think like the week one is is a hard to go off of. You can't just general Absolutely. what's gonna be the best. Give it a we, month, see what happens. And we got no sample of what's going on with Hakar and Iranicos, right? So, because like there's only what three guilds in the world that killed it yet. Uh, I think Swamp, my guild, they they got it down today, uh, like an hour ago. I, I don't recall. And uh, then then no no the above and some other guy from EU I don't even know. Uh, so like these logs are only the first four fights. It very well could be, and it is because like you look at the the comps, right? They had to take nine mages to ever to even kill Eranicos. That means that mages are doing excellent in that fight and it's not showing in the data. So. I completely expect in yeah. like two weeks from now, the mage is going to be like really up there and we're going to have to pay the consequences for that. No. Oh uh, yeah, yeah prediction. If the last boss requires uh, like nine mages, um, the warriors might have an average that's very high, but if you're a warrior, you'll never get into a raid because uh, the average guild isn't able to just swap out classes. So like what will happen is like you will have to build a roster that can take the last boss out with the people who take the first boss out. So like... I think like the level of sampling bias being like super underestimated here. Like I think it's gonna yeah. be like Nomer. Why Warriors were the best DPS yeah. class on most of the early bosses. They had a very hard time getting into raids quickly. Gatekeeping's a meme. You can always get into a raid. But um if you need nine bosses to if you actually literally need like to not take any warriors to kill the last boss, you will not get in a raid if you play a warrior. Like obviously. Because yeah. anybody who takes you will be saying, like, well, you know, getting you in, you won, you special warrior, you special guy to me. I'll tell you what, we'll give up the last two bosses in the lockout just to be fair to you. Not going to happen. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. It's not going to happen at all. And, and, I mean, and like, it goes back to the fiction spectrum court. Yeah. I, I think this situation is untenable. I, I don't see the way that, like, uh, they they see that you need nine meshes to even kill Eranicos and they go, this is fine, we're going to leave it as it is. I mean, I, I can always be shocked and disappointed, but I don't think in a million years... They are just gonna allow this to happen, maybe for a week or two until they get their, their act together. But I don't think in the long yeah. term it's gonna be that way. The other problem, though, is that as you guys know, when like a class is bad for an extended period of time, uh, like like the Red Paladin, like uh, like we had a um, uh, talk the other day with a Red Paladin main or mine, and like Red Paladin is doing great, and they still cannot get into raids because like people assume they are bad because they've been bad for so long, and like. Let's hope the stigma doesn't stay there like, oh, you need nine mages to clear, we're not taking anybody else, because like three weeks ago, the best raid in the world had to take nine mages, so of course we need nine mages. People think like that. No, yeah. That that's a bad stigmatism, because like at the end of the day, like and that's why as as I said earlier, I hope for more utility with Warriors and Rogues, so they can offer, you know, more utility to the raid in general if they decide to add more cool, you know, concepts like that. This way it gives them an answer in raid spots too, and they deserve a spot. But I also feel like, you know, when it comes to like Paladins, obviously utility is already there. Like it, it's already been there. And like, with all due respect, like, you know, the more Paladins you have in a raid, the more different blessings you get. Absolutely. The more, the more lay on hands you get, the more DIs you get. I mean, there is several beneficial factors of having a Paladin uh, of all three specs in your raid in general, um, especially like, you know, for like a Red Paladin, you throw on Seal of the Crusader, now you don't now your prop paladin doesn't need to use that and he can base off the seal of crusader damage based on his attacks the holy paladin gives improved blessing of wisdom that helps out for your man and your mages and your casters warlocks whatever for more mana per five per second you know i mean paladin is just a great overall utility class and i think that's the reason why it finds itself um being picked up in raids now yeah red paladin obviously being um back in the day you know the weaker of the other two um but I think right now with, you know, the current burst damage and everything like that and how we're going in between using like crowd pummeler and if we get the Thraz and if that's the best weapon to use, um, I think reds are going to be fine. I, I think I think they're, they're going to be fine, but I just hope, um, you know, I, I do hope we don't go back to that point where reds are going to go back to the, the back of the line totally come the next phase because I see as the damage goes higher and higher. It does get me concerned with the kind of runes they're giving us as paladins, because I don't know. They're okay. They're not bad, but I would, I would have to, I would have they to see don't the damage scale, tables. Yeah, they are like free yeah. I would stuff. have to, yeah, I have to see them. Yeah, I, I would literally have to wait. I got, I got to wait a month to really make some decisions and, and go from there, because I'm always gonna play paladin, even if it's good or bad, no matter what. 
I got, I got a question here. Like, you you look at this graph, right? I don't know if you can see my stream right now, but like, I'm gonna just describe it to you. No. The the red paladin is low on the averages. It's like a very low average, but you look at the top ranking paladins. That's the the dot on the right. Like that that means like the top one percent people of the class. That's where the dot is. They are like fifth, fourth best DPS in the in the game right now. But the average is super low. What do you think that is? I think, well, you the know... The non-meta classes have adverse selection. Classes that aren't the best have worse players on them. The best performing class has the highest skill players on it. So, like, it's very yeah. important that Blizzard balances for the elite level of play. Because what happens is, like, when you when you make Rep Pally not good enough, or we make Paladins other than healers not good enough to get into a raid, then basically you may, it makes all the top-end players ditch the class. Because to people who are really, really serious about the game... They'd rather be something that's good. True. Like, that so it's sense. if they, they got to bounce it for the top level. I think Blizzard's gonna f it up because, for example, they had lots of poison effects in um, ST. Yeah. That is a Odd. that's a f no no because that makes shaman so dominant. Like, if anybody who did AQ forty, if you're on horde or even just the trash and like spider wing, being horde f way easier, way f easier. So I don't think Blizzard's really thinking very clearly about how they're balancing this. Like, this is part of the reason Pug raid leaders are so weird about stuff. Because if you if you take the second best class, you take way more morons and you take random people. Yeah, that is true. Because you got to deal with the litter. Like that's there. You got to deal with what you get at the end of the day. And it's like every and it's funny because like all those people are all in the same concept of the mind with you as well. Where it's like you know. We just got to make do with what we have here. Let's gather 20 people together. Let's get whatever we can get, whether it's from the recycle bin or trash or not. It is what it is. We just got to get this raid going. I do see Paladins overall. I do. I could see like the fall off and damage this phase. That's I, I was telling my guildmates too. Like, I think as a rep Paladin, I'm taking a step back this phase. It's fine. Totally understandable. Step I'll back, try bro? to dip out as much. Well, as far as like in terms of damage, because like there's a lot of ah, other yeah, I was like, I'm sitting this one out. I was like, what, bro? No, 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 no. Of course not. I'm always gonna represent, but like I know, I know when like it's like if the forecast says it's gonna rain tomorrow, I'm not gonna go out in gym shorts. You know what I mean? Like, like <laughs> I'm not, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm not gonna go out in a guinea tee and a wife beater and a gold chain on and say, you know, let's go for a run. You know, obviously it's gonna pour in rain. You mean you know? you're not gonna go um, out with a gold chain and a wife beater into the rain? Are you even Italian at this point, man? Yeah, no. Like what am Come I doing? On, <laughs>